It was it was extremely surreal. I couldn't even grasp the concept that what I was digging up had been here for five thousand years. We were in an AP environmental science class at East Side High School, and our teacher Steve Everett would bring us out here on monthly field trips, and it was on a monthly field trip that we actually found the canoes through his class. Steve has worked with archaeologists in the past, so he understood that this might be a significant find and contacted the folks at the Bureau of Archaeological Research in Tallahassee, as well as us here at the Florida Museum of Natural History. And across the course of that summer, we ultimately revealed 101 canoes along the shoreline. The reason for my visit was to determine the condition of the wood and see if any of the canoes were in fit enough condition to be moved back to our laboratory here to be conserved. After studying the canoes for a couple of days, all the ones that were excavated were pretty badly decayed. They were fragmentary and uh, very soft, too decayed to, to move at all. So we had to leave everything there and take the special samples that we took so that we could analyze them instead from our laboratory settings rather than taking them back to a conservation lab. And most of them were pine and some of them were cypress. Ultimately, the canoes ranged from 500 years ago to over 5,000 years ago, which is a wonderful story because it allows us to understand how Native Americans used their waterways through history from prehistoric times right on to into historic time periods.